beautiful to be shared. You can't show it to them. They don't understand. But you think you're going to show it to them, display it like some cheap slut. Forgive me. Forgive me. I love you. My eyes, Camilla. Your work and my eyes. I won't let you display it like some cheap slut. I'll stop you if I have to. Painter. <laughs> Add a room by a painting. Three weeks from tonight, all the soup is going to be for you, and then they'll get to see art. Billy, you just wish your house looked this good. And three weeks from now, you may get to see some art. Camilla, darling, what is this uh, may get to see stuff? Hey, look, come on, you don't want to turn Van Holt's hair dark. Hey, look, kiddo, I'm serious. We've been through this once before. Now, this time, it's put up or pay up. No tantrums, no nightmare, no nada. That's it, Billy. No nothing. If I don't finish the piece, there'll be no dinero, no nothing, no show. I love you. I, I love you, Camilla, but we, we, we Camilla, we're not going to do this again, okay? Now, what's the problem? Every time we have an opening, you... Billy! Hello, how are you? <laughs> Look, uh, you're her husband. You take care of her at home, and I'll take care of her here as her agent, okay? Steven. Maybe it's best for Camilla not to open right now. You don't know how hard it's been for her to get this far. I don't know how hard it's been. I held her hand through an entire nervous breakdown and botched opening. Don't tell me I don't know. The man that harassed her last time, Stephen, was a lunatic. But he's a dead lunatic. Camilla has to open. She doesn't open, people don't see her work. People don't see her work. I don't care how talented she is, they aren't going to buy. It's nice to know you have your client's interest so much at heart. Yes, it is. Good night. Signature looks real enough. It's not one of my best. I think I crossed the line between aesthetic passion and the Mercedes I have parked out back. Everyone should have a Mercedes. Beats the uh, Barker period. At least that was sincere. Ah, yes. Painting old ladies with their dogs. I remember. I used to wake up in the morning and think I'd better spread newspapers all over the studio floor. Anyhow, the uh, painting, it looks housebroken. What about you, Mary? You housebroken? I may not be housebroken, but I'm tame. Oh, old lovers. Not only do they not die, they rarely fade away. How are the multitudes? Yes. Oh, they're enthusiastic. They love. 
you. They love you. They spend money. I own the gallery. I love you. Camilla? Camilla, telephone. Hello? My eyes, Camilla. Your work in my eyes. I won't let you display it. Camilla? What's wrong? Billy, I can't open. What do you mean you can't open? Billy, it's him. It's Joey Daniels. He's been calling every day since I started working on this piece. Camilla, the man's dead. He went through your studio window three years ago. Stay out of it. Just about how you left last time I saw you. How is she? She's convinced that Joey Daniels is calling her. But she needs a doctor. She needs an opening. She needs to show her work where people can see it. I think she's afraid of opening. And I make her a little nervous, and she's got a husband who treats her like a baby. So we need your help. Why don't you tell me this on the phone? Three years ago, you didn't give me the impression you did repeat business. I tell you this on the phone. Would you have come? I like Camilla. Um, I'm sorry she's going through this. Now, someone's either playing a very, very sick joke on her, or she needs professional help. Uh, wait a second. You, you know what my life is? Chasing after people who are walking away from me. My therapist thinks I'm imagining it. <laughs> what if I hire you? In almost three years. I know that Billy has told you that I'm being neurotic and that I'm finding excuses not to work. But you have to trust me. Those telephone calls are real. I haven't said a word. Look in your eye. The telephone calls are real. Joey Daniels was real. But your agent thinks that you're being neurotic. 
Are you? Well, whoopee for Billy. I mean, right answer, wrong reasons. Do you think I would have been doing all this work not to open? Is that absolutely impossible? Well, it's not impossible, but why? I like to work. It's, it's, it's who I am. It's what I do. I'm not some fragile, tortured soul. I, you don't have to be morose to be talented. I desperately want to open. I believe you. Hello, this is Camilla. Please leave your name and number and I'll get back to you. Thank you. My eyes, Camilla. Your work and my eyes. I won't let you display it like some cheap slut. I'll stop you if I have to. Okay, I take it, put it over there. Good. Dolly, I'm trying to make everything just the way it was. Put the tools on the bench. Tammy, you know, I never interfere with your work, but I think moving in here is crazy. So, this is the hot new piece you can't tell anyone about, huh? <laughs> this is great. All that Vulture can think about is his 10%. And you're taking his advice by moving back in here. I'm not taking anyone's advice except my own. I mean, in spite of everything, I will work better here. I want to open. Come on, tell me you understand. I know it. What do you think? Oh, I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. I love the original. This may even be better. Echoes, too. Quite appropriate under the circumstances, don't you think? Why don't you tell me about this? It's supposed to be a surprise. I mean, aren't you surprised? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I'm just so excited about everything. Just stop thinking about your commission and start thinking about Camilla. I am thinking about Camilla. She's an artist. She's supposed to art. Besides, she needs to be here. I'm really glad to know that you know exactly what Camilla needs. Excuse me. Don't pay any attention to him. You're doing the right thing. He's my husband, darling. He's concerned. I'll buy him a drink. You. Get to work. Steven. My eyes, Camilla, your work and my eyes. I won't let you display it like some cheap slut. I'll stop you if I have to. You have the second tape? What's wrong, Ray? Nothing. I'm uh, just waiting for the verdict. You're a little worried the wrong guy went through that window, aren't you? I'm not going to know for sure until you listen to the tape. But you're concerned. Sound engineer and psychic. Listener, your breathing rate increased as soon as I asked you for the tape. I'm going to remember that next time. Sorry, Ray, it's a match. Three years ago and yesterday, it's the same voice. That's it? That's my favor? That's it, Howie. Slate's clean.
Hi there. Can I help you? Mr. Daniels, Mrs. Daniels, I need to talk to you about your son, Joey. Look, we sell firewood. You want to buy some firewood? I, um, I know this is very difficult for the both of you, but, uh, this is important. Did you know Joey? Ruth, uh, go check, see if that order's ready to roll on the truck. Look. Joey's dead. He may not have been the greatest kid in the world, but he's dead. We've had to live with that for three years. Is there anything else? Oh, no, thank you. Trying not to disturb you. I, uh, I couldn't stop thinking about what an absolute ass I made of myself. So I came around to apologize. <laughs> mm. You have to do more than that to convince me. Uh -huh. What do you think? I've been trying to, to work on this muscle. Look at it. Isn't it incredible what happens when you put your put your arm right back like that. But I don't know if I've got it right. You know, Billy says that... Billy. You think he was the only agent in town that dared to handle your work? <laughs> Billy's put up with me for a long time. You only know me for a few months. Do you know how many artists even get a mention in my magazine? And that was before I met you. Now, you may be... No. You are one of the most talented sculptors in this country. There's no doubt about that. So why is it so important to you to have an opening now when it could be dangerous? Stephen, I have got to work. I feel alive when I work. I've got to work. Well, if I can't save you, maybe I can help. Oh, you can take up sculpture? No. <laughs> I was thinking of doing what I do best.
quiet like some cheap slut. I'll stop you if I have to. I promise Peter Van Hoda I'd meet him at the gallery. Oh. I have to talk about the opening. Or maybe not. Mm -mm. Huh? Anyway, Billy's coming here to meet the movers. Unless you can stay. I am sorry, but I have my limits. Besides, it'll do Billy good to wait for a change. He may learn some patience. here that the warehouse located at 95 Park Place is owned by DM Enterprises. Who owns DM Enterprises? Don't know. You're gonna find out for me? Not my department. Look, Mel, you're gonna get me the information or no? <laughs> Have I ever not gotten you the information? How long is it gonna take? You know, I don't even know your name. That's okay. I know yours. How long? Well, if it's a run-of-the-mill corp, about an hour and a half. But today, what with, you know, parent corps and holding corps and spin-offs, who knows? I want you to contact me at this number, the Van Hoot Gallery. Ask for me. Yeah, but who do I ask for? I don't know your name. Man in the dark glasses, dummy.
I'd be happy to pour one for you, Stephen, but this bottle is mine. Now you can drink until you can't stand up anymore. It's not going to help Billy. You insensitive man. I'm still waiting for an answer. I want to know who you are and how you tie into this. Now, you can tell me here, or we can take a ride. I told you I'm a friend. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Mr. Van Hope called. He said he had a message from Mel for a man in dark glasses. Uh, Mel, excuse me. Mel. Look, it was the best I could do on such short notice. Mel, this, this here is a phone number. All right, so I don't know who owns DM Enterprises. I didn't have much time, but at least I got you their unlisted phone number. You got me their unlisted phone right. number. Right, so now that you got it, what are you gonna do with it? What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Mel. I am gonna go and I am going to buy DM Enterprises and the warehouse. You're kidding. I never kid, Mel. <laughs> Hello. Joe. No, it's all right. What are you doing here? I invited you. It's only fair I get to ask the first question. Why? I don't know what you're trying to pull, mister. But I think I'm going to call the police. Well, why don't you do that? Why don't you call the police? Call the police. You explain to them why it is that Camilla Rousseau is receiving threatening phone calls from a warehouse that you and Mrs. Daniels manage. Camilla Rousseau? The artist woman. Yeah. We don't have anything to do with her. Tapes of Joy's voice are being played to her from this warehouse, from this machine. Why can't you understand, Camilla? Your work was meant for me. Only my eyes can see it. Only my eyes can keep it beautiful. Look, we don't know anything about that. Joey is dead. He just used to use this place, that's all. And we rent it out to make a little money on the side. Who owns this place? A man named Swirling. Anthony Swirling. Yeah, but we never met him. He always calls us on the telephone. I think he may be responsible for what happened to your son. I need your help to find him. Heard about Billy. Thought you might need a not so strong shoulder to lean on. Pretty pathetic excuse for art. What do you think? I think that's why I hate you, because you're so damn good. It's better than the original. It's more manic. Tortured. It's totally nihilistic. An honest self-portrait. You want to save me from myself? Those are the best parts of you. Well, at least there's one man I know who understands I don't need rescuing. Should you be alone here? It doesn't matter anymore. I promised Billy I'd make the opening. He'd probably haunt the hell out of me if I don't, so I'm going to finish. Maybe since you've decided to move back here, there's things that we could finish up. No. That's not what I came to finish. We finished that a long time ago. No, Camilla, you finished it a long time ago. I have to work. You better go. For now.
Sorry, I'm working. If you choose to ignore this message, leave your name and number, and maybe I'll get back to you. Miller. Are you there? If you're there, answer the phone. Miller. I can't talk now. I just finished the piece. I need to call Van Hote. I'm at the gallery now. I'll tell him. Then I'll come over and we can celebrate. Okay, I'll see you. Cammy. I love you. How's it going? Uh, she's having trouble with the piece. She's not uh, sure she's going to be able to make it. I'm going over to see for myself. You're good. And normally I would say don't distract her, but uh, under the circumstances it is better that she's not alone. Do you like it? It's extraordinary. Really extraordinary. Think it's the best thing you've ever done? You're not just saying that to make up, are you? No. Nope. I love it. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. How about some champagne? Mm -hmm.
What should we drink to? To something even more incredible than the original. Echoes, too. You never saw the original. You know, I think I should put this one right next to the other. That way, I'll be able to look at them both. What do you think? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Your work is too beautiful to be shared with people who only want titillation. Billy didn't understand that. Billy was a pimp. Stephen. You're not a slut. Maybe it was a mistake to pay Joy Daniels to say my words. After three years, it feels good to say them myself. This was meant to be seen by my eyes only. But you don't learn. You're trying to show it to them again. Just leave. <laughs> I've been reading about you in the papers. You're a big hit. <laughs> Nothing like 200 of your closest friends to make you feel alone. I'm OK. I don't need your sympathy, Ray. I know that. Pain's a fact of life. I just wanted you to know that I was here for you. I'm an artist. I'll probably use it. Put it into my work. New piece? Mm-hmm. I'm making it for a friend. What do you think? What do I think? I think you and I have a lot in common. So long, Camilla. Wait! When it's finished, how can I send it to you? There's a lot of pieces. Have an opening. I'll be there. Peace.